Hey guys, welcome back to the Drama Investigator. Honestly though, honestly though, we have a new case, we have a new target, something that has been sweeping across the internet. Zoella is a successful British YouTuber with 11 million subscribers and has quite a few products for sale at the pharmacy. And kudos to her, she's done well for herself, but she is getting in some heat for one specific item from her Christmas line, which is an advent calendar that costs around £50. So the conversion rate for that is actually $96.92 New Zealand. And yet it only has 12 doors containing gifts, which is half the traditional number of doors anyway in a normal advent calendar. And the gifts are really half ass. So the calendar I read online contains a cookie cutter, a small pack of confetti, a packet of seven stickers, a star-shaped cookie cutter, a small bag, Festive cookies, a 30ml candle, a Christmas clementine room spray, a pen, a fluffy key ring, a gingerbread man-shaped cookie cutter, and a mini notepad, and 130 grams of cozy Christmas candle. So something has definitely gone wrong here for all of that shit to cost $96.00. Like the entire contents of the advent calendar, which is sold at Boots, I believe it's called, has received an overall rating of one and a half stars so far. <laughs> that is just fucking pathetic. So because she's received so much backlash on Twitter and YouTube, she decided to give a half ass, it's not my fault, apology on one of her recent videos. This vlog that you have just watched and I thought I would put this little bit in at the end because... There has been um, some upset, disappointed people in the Zoella Lifestyle Advent Calendar, more specifically the price of the calendar. And I didn't want to not address it because I want you guys to know I do care about how you feel about things. And the last thing I want to do is anger, upset or disappoint anyone because that is not my intention in the slightest. Um, but online you actually don't know people though like you see an image you see a front you trust the person you never met before in your life and then they go ahead and they sell you a 96 dollar 12 day advent calendar that's about as half ass as the apology so i thought it would be weird for me to kind of end this vlog like this whilst there's people that are upset with the calendar price the calendar is something i've worked on for a year i love the product i am all about the creativity i'm all about getting it from a design to a product where my input ends is there once that product is done and i'm happy with it the retailer can decide how much they sell that for that's completely out of my um decision making i don't have the right to make those decisions so it makes me so sad the, a product that I loved and worked hard on and that loads of you like the product it is just having that product at the price that was out of my decision has left so many people so upset and I feel just as let down by this also and the price of any product is up to a retailer and I know that there's some of you that might not have known that so I wanted to come on here and like explain that to you because even my mum didn't realise that. I don't want people to think that I'm like sat at home like counting £50 every time someone buys this calendar thinking that that was a conscious decision that I made to rip people off because if you know me you know that, that, that there is not a bone in my body that would think that way and it makes me so sad that anyone would think that that was my intention because that is 100% not my intention. My intention was to make a product that I thought you guys would love, which I still think is a product that I think you would love. It's just been completely ruined by a decision that I didn't make. Been ruined by a decision that she didn't make. Honestly though, like honestly, if you have 11 million subscribers and you decide to sell something to them, surely you should be a part of every decision made because 11 million, like that is a lot of people. And saying like, oh, it's not my fault, it's someone else's fault, like that's not taking responsibility for your own actions, that's being a victim. And I work with victims and guilty people every day in the police and let me tell you, that is the face of a guilty person. That I didn't make and... 
it's so frustrating. If you watch the video and if you're quite in tune with body language and movement, you can see how Zoella just looks as guilty as charge. Hmm. Cartier bracelets are really expensive. I just checked them online. They retail for in between four and a half thousand and ten thousand dollars. So, you know, I just thought that was interesting. That's all. My input in this is creative. It's coming up with new ideas, it's new like cool packaging concepts, it's new scents, it's new things we can do and it's like testing formulations and it's all those things, that's where I get involved in this and I'm very heavily involved in that and I love it. Like I'm currently on my desk in front of me I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight products that I am currently testing and making sure are right for you guys and I don't get to talk about these things that much because I don't know, I don't know how much you'd be interested in the process of these things but also if some of these don't go ahead then I don't want to like talk about them in case they don't happen and these things take years to get right and that's that's all I can do and past that point it go it, it's handed over, it's like a baby that's handed over to somebody else and then they get to choose what they do with that. And I think after seeing some people's feedback on this, it's quite obvious that the decision that was made by the retailer was the wrong decision. And I'm sure that they will take that information and they will take this on board. I really hope that this has made sense to you. There's, it's a really difficult process to explain. Like there's not just like me and then like three people that like, do these, there are teams and teams of people, teams that are not my teams, the licensing and the retailer and the production, there's a lot of people, um, you know, I don't, I don't sit at home like packing it all myself and sending it out to you and the money comes straight into my PayPal, that's not what happens, that's not how it works, it's really complex and there's a lot of people and there's a lot of decisions and not all those decisions are mine to make and the price is one of them. So I'm really sorry that so many of you felt so let down by this product. Um, I really hope that this kind of clears that up for you because there's a lot of people that think I chose that price and that I don't care and that I'm doing it for the money and that makes me so sad because that's not who I am. That is not why I do this and if you know me, you know that, so there's no point me rattling on about that. I'm not here to justify myself as a person because you either know me or you don't and this is just a rubbish situation that hopefully a lot of people can learn from. That's that, I hope that's cleared that up for you. Thank you so much to all of you who support the brands and have voiced your concern in a more calmer manner. I have really, really appreciated it. So yeah, that's it for now. But thank you for listening and I will see you again very soon. Bye. So since this video has been posted, I found an online source that states that Boots has now cut the price in half the advent calendar to 25 euros, which is still shocking because that's like $48. And I know for a fact that I could find all of those contents for way cheaper. So subscribe because I'm thirsty as fuck and I'll see you guys in my next video.